So Matt, as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, where did you find your uh, voice for John Constantine? My voice for him? What actually? What the the, the, the what, which which voice? Yeah. Your, your, your personality for John oh, Constantine. Well, the comics, man. I mean, yeah, I started reading them. I haven't read them all yet. There's, there's a lot of them, but uh, the I just started reading them and using the source material, and then I've got this this thick, more skin book of just all my John Constantine stuff with images and like uh, you know little different lines that I use and you know from the comics and stuff, and just gleaning as much as I can from from the source material, you know. Were you aware of the character at all before? It's funny, um, I've been told for years and years by a friend of mine who was uh, a big comic book fan. He's got his own comic book company now called um, Improper Books, and they got some good stuff. And uh, he'd been telling me for years, John Constantine's my favorite you know, uh, comic book character, the Hellblazer stuff. And, um, and then when I, when I got the audition, he was like, <laughs> he sat me down, man, and took me through the ringer. He was just like, right, okay, he's got to be like this. And, and uh, so, yeah, he's he's like my, my worst critic. Did you have to work on the accent, though? Because you are... My accent's different, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's, no, a lot of people... That's been, like, the fandom's first, like... Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that I'm using my own accent. I'm not using my own accent, you know. The, th the funny thing is, Liverpool is right next door to Wales. Yeah. It's like, literally, you know... It's, it's, but, um, you know, the thing is, uh, I thought about doing a full-on Liverpudlian accent, but you'd have to put subtitles on it for American yeah. television. You would for a full-on Welsh accent as well. And so, we, you know, I kind of came, came up with the idea that, you know, he's from Liverpool. Like, I'm from Wales, but then I left, I left Wales when I was 19, and then I've travelled. So my accent isn't as thick as it would be if I was still living in Wales. So I, I applied that to John. It's like he, 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 was, he was born in Liverpool, he was brought up there, but then he moved away. So, so we've taken the basis of that accent and the vowel sounds and the consonant and then just flattened it out. And then some of the vowel sounds are actually similar to, to the Welsh vowel sounds because they're right next door to each other anyway. So it's kind of, it's kind of a more accessible kind of um, uh, travelled accent. How tough it was the grueling was the audition process? It was it was quite tough man. Yeah I was doing a play in London and um, uh, and I was I was doing a Shakespeare play uh, Henry V in London. I had long hair and a big beard and when I did my first tape for it they uh, they were just like yeah that Daniel and David really liked me but then some other people were like I don't see it because of the beard and so I went through this whole process, had to wait for the play to finish and then and then flew over to LA, chopped all my hair off, shaved the beard, and, and uh, I went from there. So which of the characters have you enjoyed interacting with most on screen so far? Um, I'd say Manny. Why? Manny, because they've got this great, they're, they're both kind of manipulators, you know, and they're both kind of trying to get one up on each other all the time, but there's also a mutual respect for each other, so there's this kind of dance, this tour to tour dance that they're doing all the time. They're they're uneasy allies, you know, and, and I think that makes for a really interesting dynamic and interesting kind of conflict between the two of them.